cribs here and I just wanna I just wanna take a sec, just real quick sec, and say thank you for uh, uh letting me post this tutorial on uh, whichever channel it gets on. Uh, hopefully it gets on Blazer DB's channel, which uh, my lovely background is modeled after and uh, Crystal Clear Arts, who I have been subbed to and watched their many tutorials, uh, and which has helped me out tons. Uh, so I want to thank both those people, Blazer DB and uh, Crystal Clear Arts. And uh, but let's just jump in this real quick. Okay, you got your cinematic. Uh, it's awesome cinematic. You got to get this Taj done, but you want to throw in some twist. You want to throw in a twist. You want to throw in some three D text. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna take your favorite cinematic. You're gonna throw it into After Effects. And you're gonna go to add to render queue. You're gonna add that baby to a render queue. Fitz is messaging me again. Uh, can't message him back. But okay, you're gonna go to output module, and you're gonna go to a PNG sequence. Okay, you're gonna hit OK, and that is gonna make all these little pictures. Yes, yeah, all these little pictures. So you're gonna want to back out of that. You're gonna want to make a new folder. I made mine cinematic sequence, so I can remember what it is. You're going to want to hit save. I'm going to hit cancel. You're going to render that. It's going to render out all those pictures. Then becomes the fun part. You just here the fun part. You're going to open up Bougie. I'm going to see what fits once. Okay. Doing a tut. Say hi. And I'm going to take a drink of my Mountain Dew while we're waiting for Bougie to open up. Thank you, Bougie. Uh, mind you, this is my third time doing this tutorial. Each time something bad has happened. First time, I I just I just got really mad and really frustrated and had to quit because I thought I sounded stupid. Um, and then the other times, either uh, Bougie has crashed or Sony Vegas has uh, messed up my recording and I did the tutorial without recording. <laughs> Everybody, Bolt Fitz says hi. Um, and or Cinema 4D does not like the lighting that I used and it crashes. But we're going to go ahead and uh, keep rolling. We're going to import a sequence. See, it's just going to take you to your Bougie folder that you uh, installed Bougie on. It's going to take you all the way up there. I'm going to go all the way back up to my desktop, close all that down, go all the way back down here to recorded screen. I'm going to go to my uh, tut, and you're going to want to find. We're gonna want to uh, find in general is uh, just wherever you saved all those pictures. And you're gonna select the first one, hit open, and it's gonna open them all up. You're gonna want to go to free pan or free move, change the frame rate to the frame rate of your clip, which uh, in this case is 59.94, and you're gonna hit apply. You're gonna hit close, and then just burped. You're gonna want to pan through this, make sure it's what you wanted, and you're gonna want to hit track features. Don't even have to mess with this. Just hit start. Now this is going to take a little bit, um, but uh, I guess it's just going to give me a little bit of time uh, to speed through the video. What's up, Blazer? I'm in the middle of a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, though. Okay, uh, I'm just going to talk through while uh, we're going through this, alright? So I'm going to just talk, and you can just laugh at me. How dumb I sound, okay? <laughs> alright, uh, well, I guess you can go ahead and say hi. I already did a shout-out for you. But, uh, no thanks? Okay. All right, everybody. We're in Buju, and it has do just got done tracking the features. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pan through this, make sure there's no errors, which uh, Buju doesn't make errors because Buju is awesome. But anyways, we're gonna hit <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and hit camera solve, and you're just gonna make sure it's selected on all frames, unless there was a problem, and then you're gonna want to hit selected range. But uh, we don't have to do that. You don't need to hit uh, optimize path to smoothness or anything like that, and just hit start. And this isn't going to take near as long, so I'm not going to pause the video for it. But it's just going to go through once, and then go through twice. Once for actually doing the camera solve, and the second for saving it. But uh, then you get all of these uh, tracked features and uh, camera solve points. Now this is where it gets uh, it gets pretty frustrating and pretty ugly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just select two points real quick. I'm going to select these two points. See, and this is going to make a straight line really in Cinema 4D and it's going to allow me to maneuver my text better. Uh, but see those, those points, uh, they kind of bump up and down but they don't really move any and they kind of just move with the scene. And that is what you want. So you're just going to want to take those two points and you're going to right click one of them and flag for export. 
and you're going to go up to export or hit F12 on your keyboard and you're just going to go over here and it's going to ask you to save now you're going to want to hit f export flag tracks only make sure this is selected for cinema 4d camera soft one the only camera soft we had and now you're going to do panning camera translating scene because the camera moves and the scene kind of shifts with the camera so now you're going to want to go to browse and it's obviously going to take you back to its bougie thing so you're just going to select a folder to uh, do all of this in uh, I'm going to go back to my tutorial folder and I already have one selected for tutorial so I'm just going to save over this because I messed up earlier and uh, then you're just going to save it uh, I'm going to click over it and then we're going to head into Cinema 4D. I'm going to save this real quick too. <laughs> save it. Alright. Now we're going to head into Cinema 4D. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, and Blazer, I drew a picture of you. Uh, it's quite sexy. It's a. Uh, it's the. You said I needed a funny background, so. It's. I'll just let you see it, but it, it's quite comical. <laughs> you look gorgeous. I mean, in the picture. Okay, see now we have this scene, and we have a uh, this little knoll, which has the camera, the reference point, and all at those two uh, points that we picked. Okay, now what I was originally going to do is I was going to give you an object to put in. But that object really was really, 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 really badly messing up. So we're just going to use text this time. So you're just going to open up MoGraph and you're just going to start up some text. I'm going to type in tut. And we're going to pick some font real quick. I got a really awesome font that I love using. And we're going to change this to about 10. Change this to about 5 but it's still going to be huge so we're just going to go up to functions transfer you're going to click the middle mouse button so it goes to a different camera view and you're just going to select one of these right there one of those uh, one of those points that we selected earlier see one is farther than the other one so depending on where you're going to want your text at you're going to want to judge it by that so then we're just going to scale this down to about two two seems about right and then the depth it's gonna we're gonna have to be going really small here folks so it's gonna be like about 1.25 and then you can just uh, kind of move your text in here so you can see it I, I don't know really why but I love that font uh, but now we're gonna get to the nitty-gritty here we are gonna open up a uh, new material go to texture open up a uh, load image and you're gonna want to select the first image on your cinematic sequence again so you just open up that, do not make a copy of it. Click the little picture, go to animation, go to arrange, you know, type in however many frames there is. There's 120 in this now, and you're just gonna want to click calculate down here. Do not change the movie frame rate or anything like that. You're gonna want to go up to your uh, lighting tool here and select background, drag it down to the bottom, drag your material on it, and there we go. We've got our uh, little Call of Duty scene in here and really there's not a whole lot left to do other than uh, you can go ahead and look at it and see now it's now the text is moving see and we don't want that so now you're gonna have to select a new reference point and this is why you select multiple when you're in bougie because i mess up a lot okay you want to go to function again go to transfer and you want to just transfer that over there so you know it's going to take the text being back to being big but uh, this is where you just go to small numbers. And then right there, that should be fine. And then you can just kind of move this text down and translate through here. And, okay. Cinema 4D is being kind of slow again. So I'm going to move this right here. And then we're going to go to coordinates. I'm going to hit the X coordinate, hold shift, and then click the B rotation. And we're going to keyframe that by hitting control and then clicking the little light. And then we're just going to pan through this. 
and try to keep a little little memory of where the thing was and we're just gonna move it over to be about right there that way the text does not look like it's moving alright does that sound good folks I think that sounds good okay so now you if you want you can just kinda mess with your text I'm gonna change the depth up again and I made it a little small so I'm gonna go there and then I'm not gonna mess with caps because I don't really have the time to do that but uh, alright now we're gonna get into if you want uh, if you want lights and everything like that you can do that you can, you can put a light change it to about about 20 and then you can uh, scroll in here real quick and move that up just to give it kind of uh, kind of a different look drag that down and then drag this over but in this picture the lighting is behind so you're going to want to keep it realistic um, but yeah that is uh, really really the only thing we're going to have to do now now I'm going to have to show you how to render it properly so you're going to want to hit this third little render button you're going to want to go save you want to click the format as PNG click the alpha channel you can change your uh, bit channel now we're going to click the three little dots on file and you're going to select your place for rendering again I'm going to go back to my tutorial folder because I already have something pre-made and this is uh, where you make a new uh, folder that way you can render all of the pictures into their own little folder I'm going to render this into 3D text sequence uh, and then you can just name it whatever like uh, tut 3D text and click save and now you're going to want to go to output <laughs> output output and there and see now this is a problem because this is 59.94 and this is 30 frames per second so what we're going to do is just going to drag this on here and uh... there's going to be a there's going to be a uh, like a difference here with the with the sizing so uh... what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and you're going to find out these there's a two second difference because of the doubled frame rate we're going to go to time you're going to right click on uh... your layer here go to time uh... time stretch and you're not actually going to be stretching anything, you're going to be shrinking, so you're going to go to 2 you're going to type in 201 and hit it, and it's going to resize it and uh, if you just scrub through this here it'll uh, show you that the text uh, doesn't look like it's moving and I got messaged about uh, doing an edit, but I uh, oh yeah, this is something else, I will no longer edit trick shots it is not fun at all for the editor, in my opinion. Um, but you're going to want to duplicate this layer. And you're going to want to go to Effect, Generate, Fill. You're going to change the fill to black. You're going to want to change uh, the layer into a 3D layer by clicking the cube line. See, it's going to add the little axis on there. And you're just going to go to your Rotate tool, go to the text, you're going to rotate it, rotate it down. Uh, you got to try to mess with it and get it kind of perfect for this tutorial here, but, uh, whoops. I want to make sure you actually grab the axis when uh, this changes here. I'm going to drag it onto the floor to where it's about in line with it. And uh, I'm going to zoom in here and do some more rotating just because I'm, I get kind of mad if things don't look the way I want them to. And I'm gonna un undo that part here. Okay, what you can also do is just go down here to the layer. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger. Go to Transform. And you go to orientation, and then this this is where you can just kind of mess with it here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to fill it to 100. See that that seems pretty straight with the with it and everything. And then I'm just gonna go back to my move tool here and go to my X, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna move it over just a just a hair here. Okay, 
and then what we're gonna do oh, actually you can uh, mess with the opacity a little bit here I'm gonna turn it down to about about 60 about 60 should work and then you're gonna go to effect or wait click back on your layer go to effect go to blur and then you're gonna go to Gaussian blur see and the higher the higher you get the more it's gonna spread out the more it's gonna look faded I'm thinking about a 30 should look pretty good for this with the thickness of it and everything and the lighting uh, since the lights aren't real direct it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be kinda different but uh, yep that's pretty much it because the there is no you don't have to do any more motion tracking because the text will move with the scene because it is also a thing but if it does kind of shift like uh, this is doing here then you can go to uh, position you can scrub all the way through whoops oh yeah I'm gonna tell you about that here in a sec and uh, I'm gonna zoom in whoa whoa whoa, whoa now we're getting extreme here zoom in a little bit I'm just gonna drag this over a little bit uh, it's not a real noticeable amount so you won't really notice it especially if uh, you had a wiggle or something like that in After Effects when you're all done uh, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna uh, go to composition whoops I clicked uh, too soon on that you're gonna go to go to composition add to render queue again this time we're gonna go to best settings go to best you're gonna keep this at 59.94 because you resized it up to fit and I forgot to tell you about the other thing okay so you're actually gonna actually gonna delete this real quick I'm gonna go back and if you go I can't see it let me go over here to project tab click your composition right click the settings and take off this additional frame because it's actually just uh, uh, the PNG background which mine is selected to be um, green whenever there is a PNG background I just got messaged again my bad bro okay it's fine I love you Fitz. okay anyways we're gonna go to composition add to render queue again go to best settings everything is fine and now here output module I always render in AVI because later on I go into Sony Vegas and I re-render it so you don't need audio because there is no audio on these cinematics you can uh, render this not in the PNG segments but in your whatever folder you want I'm gonna change this to that with text hit save and then uh, we're done and I will uh, I'm gonna tweak this to my liking and add some other you know add a color correction and everything and then I will show you the final product at the end of this video